Oh, that was so scary. <laughs> What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Today we are going to be looking at some Abzan life gain. Before we jump into this though, just want to give you a heads up if you're not already, please make sure you subscribe. We do have a giveaway going on right now for a Crimson Val bundle that is free. It is easy to enter. All you got to do is subscribe. That's it. Uh, and the winner will be chosen on November 24th. That is next week. Uh, so do keep that in mind. But Let's talk about the deck. This is created by Power Dragon over on Aether Hub. This is a list that I uh, I really like. Uh, I was actually looking for a, a deck that featured Glorious Sunrise, uh, and this one just kind of caught my eye. I really like the Abzan life gain style. Uh, I think that it has a lot of good potential, so we're gonna give it a shot. Um, obviously, the goal is life gain. As, as such, we've got Lunark Veteran, we've got Voice of the Blessed, which we've already seen do some major, major work. Prosperous Innkeeper, Cleric of Life's Blood, uh, the Moon Dancer is in here as well, Righteous Valkyrie, all just really, really good stuff. But uh, there's also a bit of a sub theme of clerics. So anytime a cleric you control dies, you can get something with lesser value back. Uh, kind of nice because obviously most of the deck, if not all of the deck, uh, except for the citizen, I believe, is that the only one? Yes, uh, is actually a cleric. Uh, and so you can actually just bring stuff back with aura. Very nice little card. We've seen this do major, major work for a while now. Um, we do have vanishing verse for a little bit of, uh, of removal. Uh, as well as Elite Spellbinder and Duress to kind of blow up the hand a little bit. Duress is kind of an interesting include. We'll see how that one actually works. Uh, I don't know if I love that or not. Uh, and then Glorious Sunrise here at the very top end. This is just going to hopefully gain us some life or draw us some cards every turn. Whatever we need to do. So uh, very interesting deck. I'm curious to see how this one actually plays out, but I do really like the build here. So we're going to have some fun with it. Uh, again, Power Dragon did create this list. I haven't changed anything. Uh, and so thank you so much for putting that up on Aether Hub. Let's give it a shot. Let's see how it does. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and the question is, do we keep? Um, I think the answer is a resounding yes i don't really see a problem with this let's go ahead and keep it <clears throat> we can turn one duress turn two cleric and then turn three we've got options so we'll see what we want to do um let's go ahead and get that duress out now might as well try and get a card out of hand uh and perfect blizzard brawl is a very good one now we just know what they have as well which is obviously helpful um so we are going to want to get counters out as quickly as we can while they don't have a Blizzard Brawl in hand, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Cleric of Life's Blood down. Hopefully they just play like a Dragon's Guard Elite and pass. Um, they do have two unknowns. Now one unknown, that's helpful. Um, kind of an interesting play. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, cool. Makes it easy. All right, let's do this. Um... There are a lot of good options here, actually. Um, I'm going to do this, I think. Go ahead and gain a life. That's going to put counters on both of these. Uh, do I attack in? Mm. I'm going to do it. If they want a two for one this, that's fine. OK, they don't. That's cool. I feel like they wouldn't, but uh, you never know, you know? All right, there's Leon and Light Scribe. Uh, they might have a Blizzard Brawl, but it looks like no. All right, so again, we've got some options here. Um, let's drop you. Let's drop you. Let's do this in the correct order. Um, that's going to draw us or gain us some life. Let's then drop the Prosperous Innkeeper. All right. Uh, okay, technically we did that in the wrong order, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> all right, let's attack it with the 4-4. I'm not quite ready to give up the Voice of the Blessed yet. Uh, once it gets a couple more counters, it's going to be really out of range for them. Uh, and so we're going to hopefully try and push towards that. I'm so glad we got the Blizzard Brawl out of hand. I think that was such a smart play on our, on, on our end. All right, let's drop Righteous Valkyrie. It's about the best thing we could have drawn, truthfully, because we just now gained tons of life. 
um, and have a giant 7-7 seven, seven flyer. Uh, yeah, I'll just attack with these. I guess we could have attacked with more, but we really didn't need to. Um, I don't think they can fight through this. Elite Spellbinder is good, but I've been holding off because they just don't have that many unknown cards in the hand anyway. Uh, and they really aren't doing anything this turn. Uh, or this game, I should say. Alright, let's get Spellbinder down. Easy win. Easy, easy win. Alright, that was awesome. Let's move on to game two. Alright guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and this is a bit of a clunky hand, but I think we can keep it. We still have the turn one Duress, which is actually nice, but these Moon Dancers... Two of them aren't great, um, and we also aren't going to be able to turn one duress and turn two uh, the moon dancer. So we'll we'll see what we can do. Um, I think we'll keep and we'll probably duress on turn one. I think that that's just a reasonable play almost any time. Uh, depending on the deck we're against, it'll be really good or completely useless. It is what it is. Uh, we do have the Glorious Sunrise too, which I, I really like this card. I feel like it's an interesting one. It's a bit of a late game card for sure, but I think that's kind of fine. Uh, yeah, we can do it with this, and let's go ahead and duress. What do we got? Oh, lots of good stuff. Uh, I think it's just going to be the Shadow's Verdict. Yeah, Shadow's Verdict really wrecks us, so let's go ahead and get that out of there. It also exiles, which is really bad for us, so we're going to try and get that down. The The Meehook Massacre is quite good, but uh, a lot of our stuff gets bigger, uh, and so it's going to be a little bit more challenging for them to to just sweep the board with the Meehook Massacre, whereas Shadow's Verdict is quite easy. They just get five mana and they're done. Um, I wish we had been a little bit quicker uh, with some of this stuff, but that's okay. There's the hull. Uh... I mean, I guess we could just play the farmland. It really doesn't matter because we're not doing anything this turn. And that opens up some options for next turn, depending on what we draw. Uh, yep. Okay, there goes the saw it coming, I'm sure. That's actually a very good draw. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop this down. I'm going to play the swamp here. Uh, we can play the, the bright climb pathway afterwards, but this just gives us a a nice little life gain engine for the, the Moon Dancer. Now chances are they're going to have a uh, a spell to play, uh, and by that I mean specifically saw it coming, um, which is fine, it's not bad. We've got another Moon Dancer. They also do have two saw it comings, so... Yep, cool. Alright, let's attack. Easy enough. Um, <clears throat> now they can Meat Hook Massacre and kill this if they want. Uh, looks like they're not willing to. That's fine. Let's play you for green. We do need the green here. Uh, again, I really wish we could do two things this turn, but we just can't. I'm gonna play the Moon Dancer. This is gonna get countered. Oh no, we just sacrifice. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, so they're holding off on the Solid Coming, or they're gonna Meat Hook Massacre this turn, which is kind of okay. Um... We'll play you for black, I suppose. Let's attack in. <laughs> that definitely gets countered. Let's try and play the Voice of the Blessed. They may let this resolve so they can meat hook for two creatures here. <clears throat> um, which makes a lot of sense, but they also might be worried about the follow-up play that we could have. But we're kind of baiting them into spending all their mana so then we can Glorious Sunrise. Um, and that actually helps us quite a bit, so... Sure. But now we get a free turn, essentially, um, where we just get to drop this. Just quite good. Okay, so uh, we don't get to draw a card. It's just gain three life. Um, this doesn't seem like it's going to be doing a ton, but the fact is, if we get to 27 life uh, with just the Glorious Sunrise, that just means Righteous Valkyrie is immediately turned on. Uh, which is kind of good. Now we also need to keep in mind we want to play everything that we can first main phase, especially if it means it's going to get a counter, um, because we can gain life here, get the counters on it, and then, you know, theoretically go crazy. So 
This is going to continuously get us out of range of some of what they've got. They also missed a land drop. Uh, at least one. Um, all right. One, uh, which is fine by me. Um, they do have the Hall of the Storm Giants, which eventually is going to be able to swing in. So that's a little scary, but looks like they're going to siphon insight. I'm kind of surprised they're doing this now. They could instant speed that. I guess they just need a play. I don't know. That seems a little odd. Um, OK, uh, interesting. I mean, again, I think we just gain three. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, get up to 26. They might have a way to deal with this, but I kind of doubt it. I don't really know of enchantment removal. I'm sure there is, but I don't know of a lot of enchantment removal in uh, blue and black. Usually that's like a green. I mean, white has a little bit of it with Vanishing Verse, I guess, but it's white and black. It's an interesting game. Um, we obviously sacrificed a lot of our creatures just to get Glorious Sunrise down, but Glorious Sunrise is something that they're not going to be able to easily interact with. It's also something that's just incremental value throughout this game. This is going to be a longer game, uh, and so I'm all too happy to, uh, to get this down and hope for the best on draws. Okay, they're going to van or uh, Siphon Insight once again. Um, we could have meat or uh, killed the Meat Hook Massacre, but I guess we don't need to. Okay. Oh, perfect. All right. Let's get that off the field now. Easy. Um, all right, uh, let's get Moon Dancer down. Uh, let's gain three. It's a 1-1 one, one counter. Ooh, I'm going to keep the aura on top. They could have another Siphon Insight, worth noting, but I mean, it is what it is. They're not going to have any anything in their graveyard to get back with it, so that's kind of fine. Okay. Yep. Um, they also do have the Saw It Coming active, just so we all know. Um, Gonna take four, sure. I think we have to just go for it to burn the solid coming though. Uh, like, we're we're in top deck mode. We don't really have the luxury of not doing this. Okay, so they're just gonna do that. That's a little frustrating. Um, so we just gain three. This is gonna be a grindy game. Uh, I mean, eventually they just win. They've got plenty of uh, man lands. And they've got counter spells and all kinds of stuff, whereas we just don't. Wow. OK, that's terrifying. Um, that's really bad. Um, we did get this down, but they, I assume, have a way to deal with it. Oh, I don't like this. OK, they just played the land. Oh, and they played the innkeeper too okay xanathar is so good dude it's so sick stop exiling our things okay oh man yeah i mean they definitely i think it's pretty clear <laughs> uh well done opponent this uh this control build is quite good yeah I still really like Glorious Sunrise, though. We've gained a good bit of life. All right, I'm going to go ahead and concede. We unfortunately don't have anything, so it is what it is. Let's move on to a game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this is a keep. We've got Voice of the Blessed into Spellbinder into Aura. I mean, it's not amazing, but I think that's fine. Uh, ooh, even better, actually. Um, yeah, we'll try that. Opponent says hello. How kind. How kind indeed. All right. They didn't attack. Uh, that's kind of fascinating. Um. All right, let's do this. Let's voice of the blessed. <laughs> Get a counter on it. And we'll pass. Uh, pretty straightforward here. I mean, the game plan is to play a bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh, and hope for the best. Um, this is, I assume, a zombies list. They've got shambling gas. Uh, it could just be a control like meat hook massacre list as well, so we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna drop the elite spellbinder and see what they got. This is gonna kind of force an issue from them. 
Okay, divide by zero, sure. That's kind of fine. Uh, let's attack in. This doesn't kill, obviously, so this is just going to get rid of the Shambling Ghost, which is nice. They get a treasure token, but I figured they're going to ramp anyway, so it's fine. Um, like, at some point, they're going to ramp, so... I guess they could have... They could have killed the veteran with that. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, uh, opponent being a douche. Um, yeah. So I think we actually kind of have to play the Spellbinder now, because if they've got anything in their hand that can... Oh, that's annoying. Um... All right, we're taking the blood on the snow, I think. We'll attack in. Um, that's really annoying. Okay, uh, let's hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, this is terrifying. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe that was actually the right play, but that's fine. Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's throw you out, I think. Get counters on. Let's play Elite Spellbinder, get counters on. Uh, wow. Okay, uh, let's get you out of there. Negate really doesn't do that much, thankfully, against us, so that's helpful. Let's do this. We're essentially in race mode, so <laughs> let's race. Um, the only positive spin on this is that we do have life gains, so, uh, they don't just get to beat us. Um, sacrifice another non-token creature. So, so, okay. So, they're leaving this up, um, which is definitely the right play. Let's aura. I mean, I think we just attack in with everything, though, right? They can make a 17-17 creature, but it doesn't have lifelink. So I assume they kill one of the voices. Sure. But then we still just win? Oh, that was so scary. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. Okay, uh, we're gonna do one more game, I think. We got a little bit of time. All right, guys, this is probably gonna be our last game, but uh, this is an interesting hand. It's definitely a keep, I think. We've got the veteran into Righteous Valkyrie on turn three. I feel like that's good enough to keep. Um, it's not amazing, though, so we're gonna do the best we can with this. Uh, Duress is a bit stranded in the hand, but if we draw a black source, we can use it. Um, and there we go. Look at that. Ask and you shall receive. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what we can pull from the hand. Nothing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, fair enough. Let's get in for an attack. Uh, and let's hope for the best. They're going to get Jadar down. Sure. Uh, double Righteous Valkyrie is actually quite good. We see that they've got the Brutal Cathar. Um, this can't attack. Let's uh, attack in here. If they want to trade for Jadar, that's fine. Looks like they don't. So they can drop the Brutal Cathar, get Righteous Valkyrie off the field, and then attack in for two. Uh, that probably is their play, if I had to guess. Um, yep. Get Valkyrie off the field. Yep. All right. You got it. Get him for three, excuse me. Uh, and then their decayed zombie goes away, but that's obviously fine. They get another one. A um, little worried about the adversary coming down next turn, but we'll see what happens. All right, let's drop the other Valkyrie then. Again, just trying to set ourselves up for a, a nice game life turn, especially with Moon Dancer in hand now. Um, hopefully, I don't have another Brutal Cathar. That's kind of the big worry. Uh, but they can just drop the adversary and then. Gain some life. Oh, very good. Okay, uh, yeah. That's one thing that this list does not have is removal. <laughs> uh, which is a little frustrating, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, that's just the way it is, so that's cool. Oh, that's good. Uh, Alright, that's really good. Okay, let's exile this. 
Let's get our Righteous Valkyrie back. That's going to gain us some life. And then let's drop the Moon Dancer. That's going to gain us a good bit more. Uh, put that on the bottom. We don't want another one. Uh, I'm actually going to keep that. That allows us to drop the Glorious Sunrise here. Um, as it is a green land. So that seems pretty reasonable. They're still going to have a... Oh man, that's a good... That's really good. Uh, all right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, and we'll gain three. The good news is now we at least have an engine going every turn that they are going to have to deal with. The bad news is we're top decking, uh, which seems to be a bad place for this deck. We do have Lunark Veteran in the graveyard that we can disturb back out, which is nice. Um, it's another glorious sunrise. Uh, I mean, I think we just play it. We're gonna gain six. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, double Glorious Sunrise is, I think, pretty good. Um, all right. All right, they're gonna, <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Um, that's fine. Give me something. All right, that's something. I will take it. Let's go ahead and disturb this out. Uh, and we just gain three. I think most often we're going to end up gaining three. I mean, if we have a good board presence, we don't really need to draw cards, but I guess that's the way you would want to play it. That's one thing that I'm still trying to figure out with the Glorious Sunrise. Uh, that's really good and scary, but it is what it is. I'm going to say no blocks. We can afford to take six. That's cool. Oh, yes, please. Okay, so let's get you out. Uh, let's draw a card, because we definitely need to draw some cards. Um, I think we say no attacks, and let's play this out for black, I guess. Doesn't really matter. We're trying to play a bit defensively. I know it's not ideal, but I think it's just the best thing to do. Um... Oh, that's so terrible. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop dealing with them. Um, okay. Yes, I get it. So that's a Doom Scar, I assume. Uh, that's the big red button. Um, I think we just say no blocks again. <laughs> Such an interesting, interesting game. Stop drawing lands. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Uh, we just gained three. That's all we can do. Really hate the fact that we're just drawing land here. Um, I mean, we did draw the Righteous Valkyrie, but that land hurt pretty badly because now, yeah, that's terrible. It's really, really terrible. Okay. Block here, block here. It really doesn't matter. We're pretty dead now. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. That really, really sucks. I think we could afford a Doom Scar or two in this list, actually. Uh, funny enough, I think that could actually work. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and concede. Unfortunately, we just didn't have it, but it is what it is. Let's talk about the list, guys. All right, so Abzan life gain. Uh, first of all, I do think it's quite good. I I actually really like Abzan for the sa for the sake of um, it gets access to not only just good removal. Uh, but also just like all the good life gain stuff. I mean, you saw it in every single color. It made sense to have it. Um, I like the cleric sub theme. Uh, I think having aura in there was actually pretty helpful or could be very helpful, I would say, uh, against some of the Doomscar style decks. But I would also suggest that we could afford a Doomscar or two. Uh, just in the way of clearing the board against some of the early aggro or like the controlling aggro list, excuse me. So the ones that we just played up against, like that's a difficult one for us to deal with um, because they've got so much removal that we don't really have a way to deal with it. 
Um, and so just sweeping the board would have really helped. But regardless, I like the deck. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, I would recommend trying it out. I would recommend maybe changing a couple things. But again, uh, I believe it was Power Dragon that created this one on Aether Hub. Uh, yeah, Power Dragon, thank you so much for putting this list together. It was really, really fun. Uh, and I wish you all the best. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you guys so much. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see you again very soon for some more gameplay videos.